In the previous video, we learned about the link component, which allows us to navigate between routes. However, we didn't cover how to style an active link. In real world web applications, it is customary to style the link that corresponds to the currently active route. Not only does this enhance the user experience, but it also improves the overall aesthetics. In this video, we will dive into the process of styling active links. To save time, I have already set up some code behind the scenes. Let me walk you through what I have done. In the auth route group folder, I've created a layout.tsx file. Inside this file, I have defined a nav links array that consists of three objects with name and href properties. The links are register, login, and forgot password. In the layout.jsx, we map over the nav links array and render the link component for each item. We specify the link name as the text and href as the href attribute. We also assign a unique key for each item. In the browser, if we navigate to slash register, we can see all three links as part of the auth layout. You can navigate between the links, but they all remain on screen. Now let's focus on how to style the active link. To determine if a link is active, Next.js provides the use path name hook. Let's import it and invoke it within our layout component. Import. This is a named export, so path name. Use path name rather from next slash navigation. And then within the component, const path name is equal to use path name. However, when we save the file, we encounter an error in the terminal. Error, use path name only works in client components. Add the use client directive at the top of the file to use it. If you remember from video number four in the series, I mentioned all React components are server components by default and hooks can only be used inside client components. Let's follow this instruction to fix the error. Add use client at the top of the file. Once we save the file, our code compiles without any errors, and we can proceed to use the path name constant. The constant represents the path in the URL. For example, for the register route, it represents slash register, and for login, it represents slash login. These values correspond to the href values in our navlinks array. With that info, within the map function, we can add const is active is equal to path name dot starts with link dot href. And this should be inside the map method. Next, on the link component, add the class name attribute with a conditional statement. If is active is true, the class is going to be font hyphen bold and margin right four, else text blue 500, margin right four. These are Tailwind CSS classes. The font bold class makes the text bold, while text blue 500 makes it blue. We've also added some margin on the right hand side of the element. If we now go back to the browser, with the register route being the current route, you can observe. If I inspect the element, the anchor tag is displayed with the font bold class applied. The other two elements, which are not active, have the class textblue500. However, we don't see any changes in the UI because we deleted the global CSS file in the first video of this section. As a workaround, let's create a styles.css file within the auth folder and include at tailwind base, at tailwind components, at tailwind utilities. Alternatively, you can reinstate the global CSS file, whichever you find easier. We will also import dot slash styles.css in the layout file. Now, if you go back to the browser, you can see the styles in effect. 
The current route is displayed in bold while the other links are shown in blue. This is how you can style active links in Next.js. In the next video, we will learn how to navigate programmatically to routes in our application. If you're enjoying the content, please do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel.